So far, so good with these Predator Polymag shorts. Yeah, I'm glad they finally put them out. Yeah, these little ballistic tip pellets now fit inside of most magazines. Yeah. It's about time. Hey there, folks, and welcome back to another episode of Air Gun Reporter. My name is Paul Capello. I'm Guy Chisulo. And we're out here today sighting in the new Benjamin Armadas. I'm using the official Magpul version. And I have the standard version. They're virtually identical. The only difference is the grip and the buttstock. That's right. As a matter of fact, we're going to get our display bench out here, put these two rifles side by side, and give you folks the entire scoop on these amazing new rifles. Hope you folks enjoy the show. Folks, the more we look at the Benjamin Armada, the sexier they get. These things are real hot looking. You know, folks want several things in their air guns. They want it to be accurate, they want it to be powerful, and they want it to look good. You can just stand back and admire the Benjamin Armada, and it just gets better looking every time you focus your eyes on it. It's that hot. And I think a lot of you folks out there who are fans of the AR style rifles and of the AR platform will be very pleased by this rifle. Let's go ahead and talk about some of the features of this rifle. First and foremost, it's got all the features that you'd find on a Gen 2 Benjamin Marauder. Uh, Guy, would you like to start? Yeah, it has the same adjustable trigger. The bolt is reversible from right to left handed if need be. It uses the same auto indexing magazine. What's a little different is the receiver. Instead of a dovetail groove, now you have a Picatinny rail. That's right. Uh, it has the ability to be degassed if needed. Other than that, the shroud is the same, the baffles, the, the air reservoir. That's right. It's still got the same, you know, match grade barrels inside of it. It's 22 caliber. I think they might be offering it in 25 somewhere down the line, but for now, uh, they're sticking with the 22 caliber platform, which is fine. This is a 30 foot pound gun. This is great for hunting anything up to the size of woodchuck, I yeah. think. All right, let's go ahead and dive close. We'll show you some of the features of the Magpul M-Lock system. And after that, we'll do uh, a little bit of casual shooting. If you folks want all the specs on the Gen 2 Marauder, such as uh, velocities, trigger pull, the, uh, the, the sound testing that we do, click the link down below and you'll go to my review of the Gen 2 Marauder with the synthetic stock. All right, folks, what we have here on the display bench is the officially licensed Magpul version of the Benjamin Armada. It has basically the same style furniture as any AR. You've got your collapsible stock and you've got your pistol grip as well. Right. Um, on your civilian models, your buffer tube is 1.5 inches. On the military, it's a little bit beefier. It's 1.7, uh, but they're both pretty much standard. Yep, and we have a, uh, a Magpul stock here just to show you folks how easy it is to swap it out. And I want you to take that out of the box and we'll, uh, we'll change that out. This is very simple. Basically, you just push down on it and slide it out. Get my fingers in there. There you go. Yeah, they have a pretty robust spring in them. So you don't have to worry about it falling off. That's right. Now this one, uh, that this looks is, like olive drab. Yeah, OD green. Yeah. And all you do is basically take it and slide it on. And there you go. Beautiful. All right, what else can we say about the, uh, the Magpul version of this? Let's go uh, and talk about the, the M-Lock system. Right, uh, the M-Lock system, Magpul came up with it. 
basically because in the past, these little grooves that you see in the aluminum rail, you had to try and get a finger or a tool behind here to hold a nut to screw your extra rails on there. And your M-lock system comes with an actual little, they're little T's. And they just slide into these grooves like that. And then you take your wrench and they're keyed right in. You pretty much just give it a couple turns and you're locked down and ready to go. So no fuss, no muss, and that's it. That's awesome. Also, what you have is plenty of real estate, plenty of Picatinny rail up here for accessories. If you folks out there don't like shooting with scopes, as a matter of fact, you can get you can get iron sights for this thing and shoot with iron sights, make your, uh, your air gunning experience a little bit more challenging, but also could be a lot more fun for folks who don't like using scopes. As a matter of fact, don't we have a rear sight for Magpul right there? Uh, yeah, we do. Let's open that sucker up and show the folks at home. That's a thing of beauty right there. Yeah, it's full metal, nice heavy duty. Yeah. It folds down. Uh, with the factory scope, that's a little bulky. You wouldn't be able to keep that on. Right. But uh, if you were to use a smaller, more compact scope, then you could leave it on and just fold it down. Nice. One of the things we were thinking of when we were setting up the Benjamin Armada, and I think it's part of our wish list that we're gonna tell you folks at the end of the show, is that I wish that they sent scope rings that had quick release levers on them. Now this one, you just have to put a wrench in it and turn it, but if these were quick release, it'd be really hot. Yes. Why don't we go ahead and we'll uh, just take the scope off here and we'll set it up with some iron sights just so you folks at home could see what it looks like. Also, we have a uh, UTG laser. Some folks like to shoot with a laser. If they're shooting critters at night and they're sighted into a certain distance and they only hunt at that distance, lasers come in very handy and there's plenty of real estate on the Armada to put tons of accessories, flashlights, lasers, you can put uh, red dot sights on it. The, the options are limitless with the Benjamin Armada. <music> Folks, for now, both versions of the Benjamin Armada are offered as a combo package. It comes with a four to 16 by 56 center point scope with a 30 millimeter tube. And it comes with this really, really nice bipod. I believe the retail value of the scope is about 140 bucks, and the bipod is a $40 value. These are uh, great additions to a complete package for the Benjamin Armada. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take off the scope, and uh, we're gonna put some iron sights on this and see how it looks. Again, I wish there were quick release levers on here. I know UTG makes a set of those. They're really, really nice, yeah. and uh, I should have ordered a pair of them. All right, where do we want to put this sucker? Probably up here somewhere. Uh, I think you're going to need it closer to your eye. Yeah, probably. I'm thinking to put it behind. Yep, probably back there. Yeah, put it behind the uh, magazine. Beautiful. Easy and, enough. Yep, and we have a front sight from another air rifle. That's from the. That's from the Crossman rifle, isn't it? Yeah, I believe it was from an M4, but being Picatinny rail, it's all compatible. So That's right. you just put that on there. And... Okay, I think it came with a little wrench that you can adjust the height of the front post. Yeah, you just put it in there, turning it to the left will raise the front post, turning it to the right will lower it. Nice. So it's all fully adjustable. Wow, let's take a look at that sucker. Wow, really cool. Oh yeah. The height looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and take these, take one of these side panels off just to show the folks the amount of real estate they have with this M-Lock system. Okay. You just take the wrench and the reverse order that I put the Picatinny rail on. Just loosen that up. And that's it. Look at that. Now you can mount a Picatinny rail anywhere along that. You can mount a full length rail. Awesome. Yeah, it'd be nice to have a full length rail on there. Yeah, and that goes for the bottom and the other side as well. It's all the same. All right, what else can we show you folks as far as accessories that we have here in house? Oh, we have the laser. Yes, we do. Let's pop that laser on. This is a UTG L S200. 
Yep, it's a subcompact red laser. Right. It would be made for pistols. Oh, that's sweet. Look but at it's that. nice and small. Yeah, it's all aluminum construction too. Mm-hmm. Nice. Ah, the goodie box. That's right, my briefcase full of goodies. Inside here, folks, I have a whole bunch of accessories that fit on weaver rails. I've got flashlights, I've got red dots, I've got holographic sights, lasers, all sorts of cool stuff. Once again, the platform that the Armada is built on is a proven tack driver. If you want to go out and have fun, give yourself a little bit more of a challenge, put a holographic sight on there, put a red dot sight on there, shoot open sights. Yeah, you can even put a flashlight on there for nighttime shooting. Absolutely. Why don't we go ahead and put a flashlight on there? This is a really nice red dot sight, just to give you folks an idea of how it looks on this Armada here. Okay, let's go ahead and get that flashlight mounted. Uh, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna reconfigure the M-lock uh, swivel stud and the bipod? Yeah, once again, the M-lock system is really easy to swap around. I'm gonna take the bipod off and move the sling swivel stud back. That way we can mount the bipod directly to it and we'll gain another rail that I'll mount to the other side here. Excellent, okay, cool. All right, folks, we managed to get Chip Honeycutt from Crossman Corporation with us on the phone to talk a little bit about the Armadas and what was the inspiration behind it. Chip, how you doing, man? I'm doing great. Yeah, really, really good to hear from you. Uh, I'm really glad you guys are able to get outside. It's finally warmed up. That's right. We've uh, gone through a really cold, hard winter here in New York State. <laughs> yes, we yeah, have. That's right. Well, there's no better reason than to get outside with, with, uh, with the Armada. And I'll tell you, the inspiration came from one of our industrial designers, who's a, a big AR fan. Right. And the gun just, it was something that we've kind of tinkered with. We've seen some prototypes floating down the hall, and everybody's kind of scratching their head, wondering mm -hmm. what those guys in the back are working on. And what you've got is a result of really a partnership between Crosman and Magpul. Mm -hmm. You know, air guns are not on their radar. Right. And so when we told them what uh, we've been able to accomplish with our PCP line, particularly our Marauders, the accuracy we're seeing, what folks are using them for, well, shoot, if they're going to introduce um, their accessory rail to the world of air guns, there's really no better platform than our PCP line. Right. We wanted to be associated with the top brand mm -hmm. uh, in the AR accessories business, and that's uh, undoubtedly Magpul. So what you've got there is, you know, the world's, premier AR compatible air gun. And we set it up as being separate from the Marauder, but I know particularly your audience, they see a lot of similarities in there. And I suppose at its heart, it is a Marauder. Mm -hmm. but everything on the exterior is all Armada. Fantastic. We're, we're thrilled by them so far, let me tell you. Uh, having put the bipod and the scope on it and sighted it in, they're really growing on us. I mean, what Guy had mentioned to me earlier, he said, these are just great bench guns. It, it, it is a cool gun. It's a tactical look, but it's not an over-the-top gun. It, um, it is very basic and slim. And what we're finding is a lot of these, these guys from the tactical world who have ARs, who have considered air guns, they're seeing this now, and so instead of having a bench full of spare AR parts, they now have somewhere you know, to put them. And so we're drawing a lot, just like we did with our first 357, the Rogue. We drew in the Hunters. We're now drawing in the tactical guys right. into the world of air gunning. So that's good for everybody. Well, I'll tell you right now, uh, I believe the design of the Armada, in my opinion, is very inspired. And uh, we wish you folks a lot of luck on them. Hope you sell a bazillion of them. Well, I appreciate it, Paul. And uh, we're looking forward to some great things to come with the Armada. All right, folks, we're having a lot of fun here with these rifles. I have the standard version of the Benjamin Armada up here on the table. And while it does share a lot of the same features of the officially licensed Magpul version, 
there are some slight differences. Right, it, it basically, it has the same Picatinny rail system. It shares the M-Lock accessory system. The only real difference is it doesn't have Magpul furniture on it. That's right, why don't we show the folks at home the slight differences. First, we'll start with the stock. Why don't you take that off and we'll put them side by side. Okay. There's some slight differences. The Magpul version is slightly more robust. It has a bigger cheek piece. Uh, they're both nice. I do prefer the Magpul myself, though. <laughs> Woo, here comes the dust. <laughs> All right, folks, we're just sitting here doing some casual planking. We're using the Polymag shorts that we mentioned previously in the episode. Basically, what they did was they shaved about a tenth of a grain, two tenths of a grain off of it so that they could shorten it about a millimeter. That way it would work in pretty much all rotary magazines. So far, I haven't had a single hang up. They work real well, they're accurate. I'm just gonna shoot some spinners at about 30, 35 yards and have some fun. All right, folks, it's time to wrap up the Benjamin Armada episode of Airgun Reporter. And I have to say, me and Guy both fell in love with this rifle. There are a couple of things on our wish list that we would have liked to have seen featured on this rifle or included with it. My first wish would have been for them to put some sort of lever style safety on it, reminiscent of an AR rifle, some sort of linkage. There's all this real estate on the frame here. They could have put a lever switch on here. That's asking for a bit much. Also, maybe, some sort of vented muzzle brake on the front to make it look really cool. Other than that, we love these rifles. It's a proven platform, it's accurate, it's about 30 foot pounds of energy, it's great for small game hunting, it's reliable, 10 shot repeater, bolt action. What more can we say about something like this? We really fell in love with it. I agree, it, I had a lot of fun shooting this. If I had a wish list for this, it would be, I would have liked to see maybe a little larger tactical style, you know, the teardrop or pear-shaped bolt handle on it. Right. And I guess the only other thing would be if it came with a tactical style sling, that would just complete the package, it really would. That's right, other than a few things on our wish list, we highly recommend the Benjamin Armada. Guy, who would most likely love an air gun like the Benjamin Armada? What type of air gunners? Well, anybody who's familiar with the AR or a tactical platform is gonna love this thing. The modularity, adaptability, and just the tactical styling of it is amazing. I think Benjamin really hit a home run with this. I have a couple buddies that are ex-military veterans. I know they would love to get their hands on something like this. Absolutely. For Airgun Reporter, my name is Paul Capello. Until next time, shoot safe. And have fun. That's right. We say we go shoot these things. Let's do it. All right. Let's put on a couple ghillie suits and crawl around in the hayfield. Look for some woodchucks. <laughs> woodchucks, huh? Getting tactical on their ass? Oh, yeah. Cool.